Hello guys, welcome to itshakademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss about prism. So first let me define a solid. So solid is an object which consists of length, breadth and a height. So such object is called as solid. And now let me define prism. So prism is a solid having two congruent and parallel faces which are called bases and all the other faces which are nothing but the lateral surfaces are parallelograms. Those are formed by just joining the corresponding vertices of the bases. And here a prism is named according to the shape of its base. And then coming to the side portions of the prism. So side portions of the prism are called as the lateral surfaces of the prism. And now let me explain this concept with few prisms. So here we have few rough diagrams of prisms and as I told you a solid having two congruent and parallel faces which are called the bases and the other faces that is the lateral surfaces are parallelograms formed by just joining the corresponding vertices of the bases is called prism. And then coming to the first prism where the base of the prism is in the shape of triangle. So such prism is called as triangular prism. And then coming to the lateral surfaces of the triangular prism. So number of lateral surfaces of the prism will be equal to number of sides of the base. So here in this case we have three sides of the base of the prism. So the lateral surfaces of the triangular prism will be equal to 3 as the sides of the base of the triangular prism are 3. And then coming to the total surfaces. So total surfaces includes the lateral surfaces and top and bottom surface. So here in this case we don't have a top surface. We have only the base. So the total surfaces of the triangular prism will be equal to 4 that is 3 plus 1 where 1 is the base. So hence we get 4 as the total surfaces. And then coming to the next prism and here the base is in the form of a square so we name this prism as a cube. And here we can also say a prism whose bases are perpendicular to the lateral edges and all the lateral surfaces are squares or rectangles then such prisms are called as right prism. So here in this case these both prisms are called right prisms as the bases are perpendicular to the lateral surfaces. And now coming to the cube. So lateral surfaces will be equal to 4 as the number of sides of the base is 4. And then coming to the total surfaces as total surfaces includes the lateral surfaces 4 plus top and a bottom surface that is 2 here. So we get 4 plus 2 which is 6. So we get here total surfaces of cube as 6. And then coming to the next prism where the base is in the shape of rectangle. So we name this prism as cuboid. And then coming to the lateral surfaces of cuboid. So lateral surfaces of cuboid will be equal to 4 as same as cube and the total surfaces will be equal to 6. So here we can say that lateral surfaces of the prism is equal to number of sides of the base of the prism and then total surfaces of the prism will be given by the formula number of lateral surfaces plus two more surfaces since top and bottom surfaces are also included. And then coming to the edges. So edges will be given by the formula number of sides into three since the sides of the bases of prism are also considered as edges. So hence we get edges of triangular prism as 3 into 3 that is sides are 3 here so we get 3 into 3 which is equal to 9 and the edges of cube will be equal to 4 into 3 as the number of sides are 4 so we get here 4 into 3 which is equal to 12 and similarly edges of cuboid will be equal to 12 as we have 4 sides in the cuboid. And then coming to the sum of lengths of its edges. So sum of lengths of the edges is given by the formula 
number of sides into the height plus 2 times of perimeter of base. And here we can write this formula as n into h plus 2 times of s where s represents the perimeter of base. And now let me explain an example on this formula. So here given example is if the sides of the base of the triangular prism are 12 centimeters, 16 centimeters and 20 centimeters and the height of the triangular prism is 15 centimeters then find sum of length of its edges. So just now we have discussed the formula to find the sum of length of its edges which is given by n into h plus 2 times of s where small s represents the perimeter. So first let us find the perimeter of the base of the prism where the sides of a triangle are given as 12 centimeters, 16 and 20. So perimeter of the base is given by just adding all the sides. So we get here s equal to 12 plus 16 plus 20. So that implies we get here s equal to 48 centimeters which is nothing but the perimeter. And now by substituting the value of perimeter and n and h in the formula we get number of sides that is 3 into the height which is given as 15 plus 2 times of perimeter s we get 2 times of 48 here and here 3 into 15 is 45 plus 2 times of 48 which is 96 here and then adding we get the result over here as 141 centimeters as the sum of length of its edges so hence we can conclude this by saying number of lateral surfaces of the prism is equal to number of sides of the base of the prism whereas total number of surfaces will be equal to number of lateral surfaces plus two more surfaces that is top and bottom surfaces and then coming to the number of edges of the prism will be equal to number of sides into three and whereas sum of lengths of its edges is given by the formula number of sides into the height plus 2 times of perimeter of the base which can be represented as s equal to n into h plus 2s where s represents the perimeter of base. So this was the basic introduction on prism. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.